Jesus' friends were arguing. Who was the most important helper in God's kingdom? They wanted to know. I am, James said. No, you're not, said Peter. I am. Nonsense, Matthew said. I'm the cleverest. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Yes, no, am too. The silliness went on and on like that for some time. You see, Jesus' friends had started thinking they had to do something to make themselves special to Jesus. That if they were the cleverest or the nicest or something, Jesus would like them best. But they had forgotten something, something God had been teaching his people all through the years. That no matter how clever you are, or how good you are, or how rich you are, or how nice you are, or how important you are, none of it makes any difference. Because God's love is a gift, and as anyone will tell you, the whole thing about a gift is, it's free. All you have to do is reach out your hands and take it. So while Jesus' friends were arguing, some people who knew all about getting gifts, in fact, you might say they were gift experts, had come to see Jesus. Who were they? They were little children. Jesus' helpers tried to send them away. Jesus doesn't have time for you, they said. He's too tired. But they were wrong. Jesus always had time for children. Don't ever send them away, Jesus said. Bring the little ones to me. Now, if you had been there, what do you think? Would you have had to line up quietly to see Jesus? Do you think Jesus would have asked you how good you'd been before he'd give you a hug? Would you have had to be on your best behavior and get dressed up and not speak until you're spoken to? Or would you have done just what these children did? Run straight up to Jesus and let him pick you up in his arms and swing you and kiss you and hug you and then sit you on his lap and listen to your stories and your chats. You see, children love Jesus and they knew they didn't need to do anything special for Jesus to love them. All they needed to do was to run into his arms. And so that's just what they did. Well, after all the laughing and games, Jesus turned to his helpers and said, no matter how big you grow, never grow up so much that you lose your child's heart. Full of trust in God. Be like these children. They are the most important in my kingdom. Amen. You know, I'm sitting here in these rooms that have been empty for over a year now, which is pretty, uh, pretty sobering to think about. But I am overjoyed as I think about the fact that in a few weeks for Vacation Bible School, we'll have the opportunity to welcome children again. And these little chairs will be full of little bodies actively crafting and, and playing and learning and um, singing and wiggling and, and, uh, and that's as it should be because that's how the kingdom of God is. You know, it strikes me as I look at these disciples <laughs> in the Jesus Storybook Bible, as I look at their posture here with their arms outstretched, trying, trying to protect their Jesus from this onslaught of children that um, when Jesus says, bring, bring the little children to me, uh, he's involving them in children's ministry. Suddenly these, these, these fisher folk and tax collectors and, and whatnot are suddenly called into children's ministry um, with very little preparation. And uh, it, he makes it clear that this is a critical part of, of, the kingdom of God that he comes to, to embody and to inaugurate. And it reminds me that that is part of all of our calling, 
Now, some of us may have a particular call and a particular burden to work directly with, with children, and that does take a special set of skills. Um, but the responsibility of offering the gospel to children and creating a space of welcome for children within God's house is one that we all share as disciples of Jesus. And by the posture we take, not only the physical posture, but the mental posture and the spiritual posture, we can either be those who are like this, kind of blocking the door, don't, you know, this is where you stop, or we can be like this and welcoming in. And uh, as with the disciples who were suddenly called upon to see people who didn't even register in their, uh, in their worldview as full human beings, who, who had no agency and no status, no, none of the preciousness that we associate with children now, um, we are called upon to see from a different perspective and uh, to see the, the needs and the worldview and the developmental uh, stages and, and the spirituality of um, those who are younger than we are. We are called sometimes to take a seat at the little table on purpose. And that is not only for the good of children who we welcome and for passing on the gospel, but Jesus makes clear in this story that it's also for our good. Because he tells us that if we want to be able to embrace the kingdom in its fullness, if we want to really understand what God is up to, if we want to relate to God in in the, the fullest and most uninhibited way that we can, a part of us needs to become like a child. So the importance of welcoming children in our midst is not only about our need to impart wisdom to them, but it's also about our need to gain wisdom from them, about how to approach our Savior with exuberance, vulnerability, trust, joy. And so how privileged we are that we at All Saints have the capabilities to do that. Increasingly, there are many churches that do not. And I pray that we will always be intentional about creating space and having the posture that Jesus would have us extend where children here are welcome. You can be a part of providing actual physical welcome to children on our campus at our upcoming Vacation Bible School on July 12th through 16th. We could still use a few caring adults to make this week a success. You can also extend that welcome, however, even if you can't be physically present by spreading the word to relatives, friends, neighbors who might benefit from being involved and who might benefit us by sharing their perspective. God, thank you that in your presence, in your love, we are allowed to become like children again. Help us to trust you in the manner of an exuberant child. Help us to welcome children, to be open to sharing what we've learned with them, and to be open to learning what they have to share with us. We pray in Jesus' name.